Hello everyone and welcome back to The Frame Channel. It's estimated that the world produces 20 billion pencils each year, with factories located all over the globe. But how is the pencil manufactured? Considering an established brand, such as Faber-Castell, which produces 2.3 billion pencils a year, a very detailed and streamlined manufacturing line is put into practice. The leads, as they're often called, are no longer made of lead due to its toxicity. Instead, you have a mix of graphite and clay that is rolled to the right consistency and then pressurized into hard tubes. At this point, they must be dried and fired in an oven where it's cured to attain the right level of hardness. Afterward, they're treated with a thin wax coating and colored, sometimes using powdered dyes. The next step in the process is to mill a series of grooves into pencil-sized wooden planks, which in some instances are split in two halves. These planks are then filled with glue so that the leads can fit perfectly when inserted into the grooves. The other halves of the wooden pencil shafts are then placed over the top to create a tight seal. Finally, the planks are cut into shape, painted, and stamped. For centuries now, they've been one of the dominant tools for writing, artistic sketching, and drawing. Amongst the important factors in the success of the pencil market is the supply chain for graphite. Natural graphite is a byproduct of carbon and can be mined like any other mineral. It is found mostly in Asia, with China being the primary producer. Graphite can also be synthetically created using petroleum coke, oil, and coal tar heated to extremely high temperatures. That's the end of this feature on the frame. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to catch us on our next video. See you next time.